Hi, my name's Darren Alexander. I'm a Territory Business Manager for Bayer Crop Science here in South Australia, but also covering the Sydney Basin. Across Australia, samples of existing downy mildew infections have been taken from the field and sent down to the lab to analyse the sensitivity to existing crop protection products and molecules that are being used by grape growers. One of the reasons for doing this is to ensure that products that they're using are still working. The results of the testing gave varying degrees of sensitivity depending on the region. In regions throughout South Australia, there wasn't a lot of resistance to any of the known products that are available. In other regions, such as Griffith, the Hunter, New South Wales, down in the Yarra Valley in Victoria, these regions showed less sensitivity to products like metalaxyl. Metalaxyl is one of the predominantly go-to and important actives with curative effects that growers have long reached out to under conditions of high pressure. And if there's less sensitivity to the performance of metalaxyl, that is one less tool that growers have. And the introduction of new chemistry will prolong the existing chemistry that currently is available. In some regions, growers have limited number of products for the number of applications they are wanting to apply to get their crop to the end. By mixing up the chemistry, changing from product to product or season to season in the use of those products, growers will be able to extend the protection against downy mildew. So making sure that the grower uses products at the right rate in the right spray volume in reference to the canopy, but also looks at mixing up their chemical groups when going from one spray to the other or combining multiple groups of fungicides so that there is less pressure on any single mode of action is an approach that is becoming well adopted and encouraged by FRAC. Thanks to climate change being a real factor, it's becoming harder and harder for growers to predict a normal season. Trying to run a protective program is becoming more and more a beneficial approach, trying to be ahead of the game rather than chasing your tail.